welcome to one of those programmes and tonight we bring in a young person who knows all about computers. So it's all about disruption. What we're trying to do is position Ireland Inc. at the bleeding edge of the place to bring human capital to bear upon the knowledge champion space. And what we would say to government is get out of the way, guys. I've just finished a conference call with some guys on the west coast of America and they're saying to me, what's the story with Ireland? And I'm saying I just need a chair, some extension cord and maybe a rubber band and I can have 10,000 jobs on the ground in Leitrim by Monday. Himself, do you have a computer? Well, uh, as minister, I have uh, attended a number of events over the years uh, where I would stand round with young guys like him and saying things like, uh, can you attach a trailer to it? And your man, where were you when all this was going on? Well, I, w I want to say that uh, this young fellow, he, he, he's just what Ireland needs now, that kind of attitude with the American voice and the uh, gasoline and the sidewalk and no need to wear a tie. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Fair play to him. Well, I'm tremendously encouraged from what I'm hearing from the guys here. And uh, what I would say is foreign direct investment. 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 Okay, and can I ask just, uh, I mean, the issue of uh, tax, so would, would you be willing to pay the little bit of tax? We will pay our taxes wherever it is optimal to pay the taxes, namely that we would not pay them at all. Great, that's a good idea. Oh yeah, yeah, that's sure. Take that down. Down. But, but it's, like not, it's not your concern. Fair enough, I won't bother, so. 